I've got layers and layers on here. There's two, three, four, five with the coat. And it's absolutely essential that every bit of my skin is covered, including my face. Because if anything is exposed, it will literally freeze. But it seems that even my finest 21st century high-tech clothing is no match for the Siberian winter. Well, my driver's not convinced that this jacket is adequate and he's given me a reindeer fur jacket instead. I think he might be right, because reindeer fur is amazing. Each of these outer hairs is actually hollow and it's got air inside, so it's fantastic insulation. Oh, I'm going to be testing it out. Even. Wonderful, amazing stuff. To start with, the reindeer fur keeps me really warm. I even have a go at driving myself. But as the journey goes on, I begin to feel the cold. And with the wind chill, the temperature drops well below minus 40. As the hours go by, it gets colder. I'm starting to lose feeling in my fingers and toes. Is it really possible that our ancestors survived this cold? After all, their bodies were not made for this climate. Because the latest research claims that Siberians, along with most humans, can trace their origins to a tiny group which left Africa around 70,000 years ago. A few family groups could have followed the great rivers north, around and through the Himalayas, but we just don't know. All we have is a few stone tools, suggesting someone had reached Siberia by 40,000 years ago. 